the second step is called as platelet accumulation again here we have the blood vessels which are getting broken down and we have the first platelet which is accumulated there or platelet which is moving on towards that as i've told platelets are getting activated it will start releasing out a substance that will be releasing off a lot of different substances i told about one substance previously which is adp not only adp guys multiple different substances will be released this again will be binding with other platelets on the surface we have receptors and this will bind with those platelets tend to produce accumulation here we're not talking about adp we're talking about one more molecule which is called as thromboxane a2 I'm going to be explaining about what exactly is happening at this point. There will be release of thromboxane A2 from platelets. So what happens buddy? Whenever thromboxane A2 is getting released, it will bind with its own receptor which is there on the other platelets. So thromboxane A2 will bind with thromboxane A2 receptor on the other platelets. So just imagine this. This is what the first platelet is and this is what the second platelet is. Good. From this platelet, there will be release of thromboxane A2, which will bind with the thromboxane A2 receptors of the other platelets. Now, when this thromboxane A2 receptor is getting stimulated on the other platelets, there will be an interlink which is happening between these two different platelets, which will start expressing out one more receptor from the surface. There will be receptor, there will be expression of, as we can see, my little figure is getting popped out. There will be expression of one more receptor which is spread out from the surface. This receptor is called as GP2B3A receptor. But as we can see here in this, uh, uh, in, the, in my hand itself, this thromboxane A2 or thromboxane A2 receptor are binding up with, but GP2B3A are not binding up with each other. We need an interlink, which is, we need a bridge to be formed between the glycoprotein 2B3A receptors so that the link is going to be formed and that bridge is formed by fibrinogen. That bridge is formed by fibrinogen. We'll explain that. So what happens because of the interaction between thromboxin A2 and thromboxin A2 receptor, there will be expression of glycoprotein 2B3A receptor. This glycoprotein 2B3A receptor, which is getting expressed out, I will draw the diagram also over here, my dears. Here is where the platelet is, and here is where one more platelet is going to be. From which there will be release, I'm going to be drawing it like this, which is thromboxane A2, which will bind with thromboxane A2 receptor. 